So um, I wondered if you could talk a bit about um, new technologies and how you embrace them. Yes, I think it's a good thing and it doesn't, uh, in my opinion, it doesn't uh, diminish the, the film in theater. Because going to see a movie in theater is uh, it's a really special experience, it's something you share and it's an evening you do with your friend or your girlfriend or your mom or whatever mm -hmm. and after you go to a nice dinner and it's, it's an experience that still uh, uh, you cannot replace. And um, watching a movie on a computer uh, is different sometimes. I can't, I don't understand a word, so I rewind and I, I hear it again. Yeah. And I can very well uh, go to see a movie uh, in theater and uh, watch it uh, right away uh, on VOD. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's, it's a two different things and I think they complement each other. I think maybe watching movies and VOD uh, make people who want to go uh, to see uh, movies and theater more. Does it make you worry that independent filmmakers might not have the opportunity to show their films in the cinema? That there's, it, they will just get to show them on VOD? Or do you think that it's a good opportunity? For I, I, don't think, I don't think it will work this way, but maybe, maybe I'm not an expert. I hope not. Hmm. I hope, uh, I mean, small theater have to, have to fight hard so uh, they can uh, survive and, yeah. and they sh should be helped. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can go in a theater and, and watch uh, more independent movies. Yes. Um, and you're a man who has explored all kinds of genres and all sorts of types of films, um, from Hollywood films to independent films to documentary. Um, I just wondered if you could talk a little bit about how you jump from project to project. Well, basically, I go where people ask me. Oh. <laughs> so uh, after I became Rewind, uh, I want I started to work on the Wind the Eye, which was a, a very small movie mm -hmm. in terms of budget, uh, uh, big in terms of time because yes. we spent two years to work with uh, uh, with the, the kids who that they, they were not actors. Yeah. But in the middle of it, I was asked to do the Green Hornet. So I went there, and that was uh, the biggest uh, studio movie that mm -hmm. I ever done. Uh, so I, I did that because people asked me to do it, and I thought it was a good opportunity. Mm -hmm. Then I come back and I, I finished my project with uh, the kids in the bus, they were in the eye. Then uh, I do a documentary, and then I do a feature film. I, I don't know, it's uh, uh, the documentaries that I did, the one from Noam Chomsky or the one on my auntie, uh, I felt uh, I wanted to record what these people were very different uh, have in common that they, they are at the end of their life yeah. and uh, they have so much to teach us mm -hmm. uh, that I wanted uh, to, uh, to capture some of that and, and uh, give an imprint. Yeah. I and wanted to show uh, uh, a different aspect of Noam Chomsky than the one you would generally see. Yeah. And my auntie, uh, if, it's, if I didn't record her, nobody would know about her, yeah. her history, which is amazing. And do you, when you approach a documentary, do you approach it with a, a form in mind? Like the Noam Chomsky one, has, you, know, you play with animation. and Is that something that you would decide beforehand, or do you do the interviews and then figure it out from there? No, for Chomsky always had the idea to do it uh, okay. with uh, animation, uh, with uh, abstract animation especially. Okay, and could you just tell us about your next project that you're working on? Yeah, it's called uh, Microbes and uh, Gasoline, or Gasoil, and uh, it's about two uh, adolescents who uh, are a little bit uh, uh, outside uh, the general, they are not what you call jeunes in French, they are not like a typical uh, adolescent, they are a little old fashioned. Oh, okay. And they are a bit uh, rejected from the rest of the, the, the kids. So they uh, build their own car and they, uh, they decide to, to go in the mountain in France for their holidays. But uh, as they are not allowed to drive, such, such such a car, yeah. they uh, build it so it looks like a house. Oh, so cool. they drive a little house <laughs> across France. That is nice. And, they, and it's, it's about uh, how 
uh, the main character he he, he has uh, this issue is uh, uh, about he's very romantic but he he wants sex as well okay so there is this sort of uh, uh, dichotomy of opposite uh, energies between uh, romanticism or uh, wanting sex okay cool thank you very much